first impressions of the Impala Skate. It is time for unboxing. You're okay. You're okay. Why, why are you so afraid? Thank you. Thank you too. I've been waiting for this. It's finally happening. I love learning new hobbies and I'm gonna try roller skating. Wah! Really big box. I also got the protective kit, very important. I'm basically starting from level one. Heavy, very vibrant. I expected it to be a little more of a pastel pink, but I think it'll photograph beautifully. The laces are a matching vibrant yellow, I like the inside. Oh my gosh, my apartment is crooked. My roller skates keep rolling away. Another sort of physical exercise that I can pick up that is really fun and I can pass time with friends hopefully and learn to dance. My therapist also really emphasizes on recreational therapy and how picking up this hobby would really just improve my overall mood and uh, my confidence, my relationship with myself and how in tune I am with my body. I think in the past I was deterred because I saw videos of people online and felt like I could never get there, so I don't even want to try. But I feel differently about that now. I, I think the, the whole point is the trying part. And if I can get there and attain my goals, I'll be super proud of myself. And if I'm an amateur forever, I'll just pick up more hobbies and try to get better at those, honestly. <laughs> Very slippery, Jesus. Prairie, be careful. I'm so bad. How do I stop? Oh, I need a stretch. <laughs> gonna do indoors because I wanted to break it in and show you my first impression in a non embarrassing private place but it could be very disruptive to my neighbors around me so I found a local park and I also have a friend who wants to learn with me it'll be very fun to have a companion and speaking of picking up new skills and hobbies I want to introduce today's sponsor of this video which is Skillshare I have taken many of their courses over the last couple of years and Skillshare is an online learning platform with over a thousand different courses that all kind of have the theme of creativity, self-improvement, and productivity. So the next class that I'm taking is taught by an illustrator, Victor Nye, Color Masterclass. 
simple steps to create vivid art. It's a 90 minute course that starts from the very basics of principle. And just looking at how her palettes bring her illustrations to life makes me so excited to try digital illustration. Take this class along with me. Click the link in my description and the first 1000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And after that it is only around $10 a month to proceed. So let's go practice some skating now, shall we? I've never skated outside, let alone around so many people doing their own thing. So my first challenge is to get used to the unevenness of this pavement. And I tripped twice today, once because I didn't see a pebble and both times I fell on my ass because it was really hard to try to fall forward. And I don't fall a whole lot just yet because I'm not attempting anything very hard. Right now I'm just breaking in the skates. I came back the next day at a later time, but it was just as busy and a boy actually didn't see me at all and was running backwards and made me fall so hard on my tailbone which was like the first time it really hurt to fall and my eyes were watering and everything so i definitely have to find a nice place to practice in the future I met up with a friend from RISD and we want to learn together more in the future. So a lot of my challenge was to even out my legs. I want to turn better and not favor a side as much. So being in this controlled environment was really helpful for that. It cost $6 to skate two hours, but I was already pretty exhausted. So I didn't attempt anything really crazy because I fell on my tailbone yesterday and I had martial arts class right before this. So kickboxing made me pretty exhausted, but overall, I still think that skating time is progress, even if incremental. I met somebody who is giving us a little advice and next time I'm gonna try doing some crossovers and maybe a little more balancing like with the flamingo leg and whatnot. I just need to also get comfortable with being an amateur and I don't know if you're into astrology but like having a Virgo moon, I'm a super perfectionist and that really makes me enjoy life less. So a big goal of mine is to just try things and be okay with being bad at them and i hope that this video could encourage you to do that as well just to go for some self-improvement and enjoy life a little bit so i'm gonna sign off here i'll be back very soon in a few days with a video i hope that you enjoy this little wee wednesday and we'll talk soon take care bye bye